Season 5 Reloaded has just dropped, and I know it's lacking the major update that everybody wanted, the Albagra Fortress Resurgence map, which is definitely the culprit for the 65GB update we had to do today, even though it's just the fortress at the south of the map on our Masra. But, as always, weapons have been buffed and nerfed, which could see a serious change in the way that we play Warzone. And by that, I mean the meta. Do you guys know what the meta actually stands for? It means the most effective tactics available. You can thank me if that comes up on your pub quiz next time. Anyway, here is a quick list of all the weapons that have been buffed and nerfed in the Season 5 Reloaded update before we get into this video. The Chimera has been buffed. The ISO Hemlock has been buffed. The Lockman 556 has been buffed. The M13B has been buffed. The M13C has been buffed. The M4A1 has been buffed. The STB 556 has been buffed. The Tempest Razorback has been buffed. The Kronos Squall has been nerfed again. Launchers have been nerfed. Thank God. RPK has been nerfed again. The Sakin LMG has been nerfed. The Lockwood MK2 has been buffed. The Bryson 800 Shotgun has been buffed. The Baz P has been buffed. The Fennec 45 has been buffed. And the NP7, aka the Vel 46, has been buffed. Please take into account that the weapons that I've mentioned above there have only been affected in Warzone. The list for the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is nearly double that, so definitely check that out on the in-game patch notes if that's what you're interested in. We've also seen three new weapons drop with this update. These include the pickaxe melee weapon, the 9mm Damon handgun, and the one that definitely has stolen the show, the Lockman Shroud SMG. Not to be confused with the standard Lockman that is already out. This new SMG is a burst fire weapon which will definitely put a lot of players off using it. Also have the option to switch it up to single shot and that is what I'm going to be talking about next. Remember when the Kronos Squall came out and putting it in single shot made it more powerful? Well, we've had the same situation occur again but this time with the new SMG. Here's the class that I've been using in Warzone. Check out these two crazy clutch wins using it on solos here. I'll show you guys the tuning and the firing range after these clips. <laughs> he did the black side. Fatality. <sighs> Mr. Nobody. Under the by the way. Last guy's under me. <laughs> oh! Piece of play that. Not good enough for the single shot bullets though! Zone. 
Show me an SMG that can do that, chat. I did not mean to fall down there. Uh, we lost the last one because I pushed stupidly. That would have been four in a row, though. There we go. Right, let's have a quick look at the firing range. Right, so in burst fire... I'm not even attempting that end one in burst fire, honestly. One more in burst fire. And then we'll compare it. To. Single shot. Wow. Okay, here we go. Single shot it is. Say no more, say no more. 